It's a bizarre thing to be talking about, isn't it? But it seems it's what everybody talks to you about or comments about, at least. And All the time. this has come up again because there was a picture that you put on Instagram and it was with you and Chloe Ferry. And it was yeah. sparked concern, is what people <laughs> were saying. Basically, I was at Marnie's baby shower, it's gender revealed, had a few drinks. One of the girls, it was her photograph, and she right. took it on her phone, sent it to me, having a few drinks. I didn't really touch notice. I just kind of posted it. Right. Woke up in the morning, it was everywhere. And I was like, what is going on? Like, what's this about? I looked at the photo and I was like, I don't even like it. It didn't look like me. Mm. It had been filtered. Well, that's what a lot of people said. Yeah, it didn't look like me. And so what was that then? Because people were saying it was the surgery, but you... No. What, what filter did you This is the thing, I don't have surgery on my face. I have had done, I've had things removed. I enhance my face with makeup. Mm. and lip liner and things like that. So mm. I see press pictures of me and I think I look different all the time. So I mm. completely agree with you. If I saw myself as much, you know, look like that, I'd, I'd look like I'd worked done, but I haven't. OK, so hand, hand on heart now. Yes. Uh, so so the <laughs> line drawn, yes. what have you had done? Right, I had my boobs done um, because of... I think my body had changed quite a lot. I lost a little bit of volume and I had them done. You don't have to justify anything you want to have done. No, to I know, body, but, by the way, but I don't... I don't actually like looking false or I, I yeah. like surgery and people get so... We all have little bits done here and there. The first time I Botox done, I was 26. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same age as Cheryl Cole. And a lot of the people do have it done mm -hmm. and they just don't talk about it. I think mm -hmm. I've been a bit too vocal. Now they've pinpointed with me but having things done, but I really, really what don't. What about your boob job and, and Botox? Yes, um, and I had lip fillers. When? I've not had any implants in my bum. Yeah. I feel like I need to do an actual and prove this because I have a normal body shape. My body's never really changed that much. Mm. I kind of sit the same, but I feel mm. like in the media, they look, make me look different. So I'd look at a, a magazine or, you know, online and be like, I look really different there today. And the next week I look different again. Yeah. So the ones that people think I'm having stuff done. So do you, when, when you, uh, with that picture in particular, which yes, I didn't sparked like all photo. the interest, <laughs> um, do, you, do you edit? Yeah, everybody does. I'm quite bad at it. But that photo didn't belong to me. It's one of the girls. And I didn't like it. I, I didn't like my hair. I didn't like it at all. I looked at it and I thought, delete. But again, it's like Lauren's had work done, but it's not because it's just literally a photo. Like, they make you look bad in photos. There does seem to be this real move, uh, particularly at the moment, I'd say, with sort of young women of, yeah. of changing their bodies so much, whether they do it in real life or whether they do it online. Yeah. Why do you think there is sort of that drive for women to appear so differently from their, their natural selves? It's sad, and I think social media has created that and the press and the media, and it's not... And do you know what's really bad? Because us girls kind of... But social media is being perpetuated by social media stars, of which, you know, you've got a lot of following on Instagram. Yeah, exactly. So we are kind of the ones that people are following. But then also, we're the ones that feel like we need to change because we're the ones pinpointed. So we're really, we're the ones under pressure as well. So if people... Do you feel like you need to change? Yes, yeah, sometimes. I feel like I'm confident in me. And if you knew me as, like, a person, yeah. all mates are like, my God, why do they say this about you? But... It's like, it's because it's a headline again and it's not always real. And that's what yeah. people have got to realise. Like, I don't go and get stuff done all the time. I don't actually like it. I get, I've had Botox done, I've had some filler, I had it removed. It's yeah. mainly makeup and my body and face doesn't really change that much. I don't and have so, hair extensions or I like to keep it as natural as I can. Yeah. Is, the, is the warning here that, uh, that you be very careful about uh, editing any photographs? There's a very fine line because everybody does it um, and you know, we're not professionals at editing. It's just apps on the phone. Um, it's more like it just makes it look more glossy because your Instagram's got to look more not the normal everyday old-fashioned Facebook. Now it's it's kind of people look at it as like a job, right. so which is a bit crazy. But you've, um, I mean, a new sort of phase of your life right now. You know, you say <laughs> you're happy with the way you are, yeah. the way you look, and and you're you're doing celebs go dating, am, aren't yes. you? How's that experience? Really for you? good. It's is really it? good fun. Yeah, I've Why? never dated because I've never dated before. Like I've always been in a kind of long term relationships and this is like new it's fresh but we're at the beginning of filming but it's it's really good i'm really enjoying have it have you had successful dates um are you looking for love i uh i don't know <laughs> i am yeah but i'm not looking this is more do you know what it is with this show it kind of brings you out your comfort zone yeah. and you do things that you wouldn't really go i wouldn't go on a date with you know some random blinds i've never done that in my life because that's the other thing with changing images i mean it sort of fits in with the dating world as well yeah. because you see pictures of people online yes. i mean i've even on celebs go dating i've seen an image they've shown yep. in the agency and a different guy's walk through the door <laughs> yes. so actually it's that's so really when you're trying to look for love you don't know you what don't you're know and you don't know what you look at on instagram it's not always real so this, for me, is kind of a good opportunity to be real on camera and people to see it, because you can't edit 
video no, than you. So you I like doing stuff like this. It's going to show a different side to me and hopefully get rid of these silly stories. And yeah. your uh, your head is in a good place now because you've yeah, like, been very public about that. No, I know. I, I kind of like now, I think with everything that's been going on, I've kind of been quite open about anxiety. Um, I suffer it really badly, but it's kind of... I'm actually speaking to the speakermans yeah. about it and I think they're going to try and work with me, but... It's, kind of, it's nice to voice it because a lot of people keep it quiet yeah, and that's the worst thing it. to do. So speak about it. We're all human. We go for it. It doesn't matter what we do in our life. We suffer with different, you know, anxiety and depression and stuff. So, but I am good. I'm happy. Oh, I'm enjoying good. it and I'm really having fun. And we wish you luck finding love as Thank well. Thank you. If that's what you want. <laughs> but Thank nice you very thanks. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Lauren.